Um, you know, Charles is going to inherit the throne. He's not going to inherit that respect and deference that the Queen has. He's not going to inherit that um, lack of willingness on the part of everybody else to criticise him and to challenge him. Within the palace, they hope this will be enough to bury the scandal and secure the future of an institution his mother has worked so hard to uphold and protect. So, it's still the evening of the 7th of April. Technically, it's the 8th of April because we're going into 1 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm just closing up for the night and putting a few thoughts down about targeting and how, if I'm right... Andrew compromised. Was he targeted to be in a honey trap situation? The reason why I believe Andrew is telling the truth in the BBC interview is the same as the reason I believe Virginia Gouffre was a victim. But there were certain things that Andrew said in the interview that kind of triggered me. I, I'm, I'm an experiencer of this brainwashing technology and there's certain things Anomalies that just don't add up in the whole story of Epstein and Maxwell. Nobody understands it, and that's why it's in the news the whole time. And that's why it, it presents for the royal family a massive, fantastic distraction because everybody's trying to work it out. I'm trying to work it out, but I have no proof. I'm just saying, I believe Andrew on the sweating issue because if you just look at the fact that we're talking about his sweat glands when all this other serious stuff is going on regarding money and various videos to break down how that photograph that cost him 12 million dollars or whatever it was well it wasn't the photograph it cost him 12 million dollars it was the whole situation things he said during the interview that everybody laughed at i mean when you've been a victim of this technology it's like Life changes because when you try to explain it to other people, they don't understand. They don't believe you. Their belief system would have to change before they could believe you. And it's the most difficult thing to express. But when he said he wanted to go to see Epstein to end his connection with him, no, nobody believed that. Nobody um, understood that. They all laughed because what, what you do is when someone in your life has become negative or you're done with a relationship, you know, normally you text them, you'll phone them up, you write them a note or just ignore them. When you, or your relationship comes to a natural end or you just want to move on from a certain person. But with this brainwashing technology, what happens is this person kind of captures you and there's there's a there's no way out kind there's a kind of feeling of not having 100 percent control anymore and you try to understand it you try to talk your way out of it you say well why do i feel this connection why do i feel impelled to be around you when deep down i don't like you when deep down like everything inside me my intuition is saying run leave but meanwhile I keep ending up with you and it's like it's just like a form of being psychically captured by someone and this happened to me several years before I got attacked and I associate this experience with being attacked and I also associate being captured and feeling connected and taken over by someone as part of of what happened later when I was attacked. Now, I could be wrong about that, but to me, there were certain characteristics which were very common and very similar to when I got attacked. And the, the, the whole thing started to make sense when I thought, okay, well, right now what I'm seeing is crazy, and right now what I'm seeing is happening because this alien technology is making it happen. And so when I looked back on this feeling of being captured by this person and being in a relationship with someone who I did not understand what the relationship was, I didn't understand why I was there, I didn't want to be there, uh, somehow outside my willpower, outside my own self-control, I was captured basically by a person and I was being, I, th I suppose one way of saying it is like I was being handled.
look at this photograph here. This was taken in the year 2000 and it took a long time for me to kind of figure out but I, it occurred to me that Maxwell, because I kept thinking who the heck is this woman, it occurred to me that she was she could have handled Prince Andrew, either her or Epstein or both. But nobody knows it's all speculation at this point. But I want you to take a look at this photograph. It was taken in 2002. Uh, eight, nearly 18 months after the alleged Virginia Gouffre incident. And in the photograph, you've got Bill Clinton there at Buckingham Palace. Um, Prince Andrew is pointing off to the distance. And Maxwell's got her back to the camera and they look like they're looking at various interesting artifacts. And there's another photograph in the same article with uh, Kevin Spacey and Maxwell sitting on the throne room. And I'm like thinking, who is this woman? Why has she got access to the palace? Why is it that her, both her and her father, Robert Maxwell, seem to be even more important than royalty? What is it? You know, what is going on? And I read the article, and in the article it said that Epstein had just forwarded her $3.7 million. Now that is a lot of money. What was that money for? In September, taking celebrities and a president on a tour of Buckingham Palace. Now, one of the things, when you look at Andrew here, he kind of looks a bit like a zombie. There's definitely no sweating going on. That was a joke. And my attempt at humour during this serious dis discourse. But if you look at him, he, he doesn't look like him. I mean, when people talk about him now, I think, well, was it him or was it his body double? Because I'm convinced there was one. And we're joined now by Canadian author and journalist Ian Halperin. Good morning. Welcome to the show, Ian. Uh, what, what are we going to learn? To you? What are we going to learn from this book that we don't already know? Well, you're going to learn first off because I interviewed Jeffrey Epstein on multiple occasions. You're going to learn how close he actually was to Prince Andrew. And Andrew denies a lot, but I have incontrovertible evidence that they were much closer than ever before revealed. And I have sources to back it up. I interviewed dozens of former household employees of Jeffrey Epstein, people close to the royal prince. And it's not a great situation. It really paints Andrew in a negative light, and he has to come clean. Sex sells, Morty.